Hey there, welcome to my channel. Just like you, I'm a regular media user. With the release of the TP-Link Archer BE230, BE3600, dual band Wi-Fi 7 router, I figured to give it a try since there aren't many reviews out there. As a fellow casual user, I'm curious to see how it really performs in everyday use. So in this video, I'll be diving into the real-world performance of TP-Link Archer BE230, BE3600 dual band Wi-Fi router. I also be comparing it to the router I've been using, which is the Huawei Wi-Fi AX3 Wi-Fi 6 Plus. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. First up, I wanted to set a benchmark. Using my old Huawei Wi-Fi router, I run a speed test with both wireless and wired connections. Uh, this will give us a solid baseline to compare against once we start testing the Wi-Fi 7 router. For our Wi-Fi test, we'll be using two devices, the Samsung S21 FE 5G and the Huawei P10. The P10 is limited to the Wi-Fi 5 protocol, which makes a great addition to this test. So we'll see if older devices can benefit from the newer generation of wireless routers. For our final test, we placed both devices in the next room, separated from the router by a 4-5 inch thin concrete wall. Now that we've uh, set the benchmark with our old router, let's see how the BE3600 Wi-Fi 7 router performs. For the first test, we'll use the wireless capability of our PC. Our desktop is equipped with the Realtek Wi-Fi 6E RTL8852CE, which supports Wi-Fi 6 AX protocol and the 6 GHz band. Unfortunately, we won't be able to test the 6 GHz band since it's not available for commercial and residential use yet. So summarizing the results, it's clear that the Wi-Fi 7 router has significantly boosted our wireless speeds at home. Even our older Wi-Fi 5 devices are seeing a nice bump in speed. It's also worth mentioning that we used the smart Wi-Fi feature during our test, which lets the router and devices switch between bands automatically. Additionally, keep in mind that the Archer BE230 Wi-Fi 7 router has a separate bandwidth that needs to be configured if you want to use the MLO network. You can learn more about that by googling MLO network TP link. It's like a feature that allows devices to send and receive data across different frequency bands at the same time. 
which really improves transmission rates and reliability. So with that, uh, thank you for watching this short review and performance test of the TP-Link Archer BE2301i7.